In a world where the contributions of women are still too often ignored, Thelma Moss was dubbed the Apostle of LSD and became a parapsychologist to the stars. This is Paranormal Women, a hidden history, with your host, Allison Jornlin. Los Angeles is home to many star-studded paranormal legends, but from 1968 to 1978, its esteemed college, UCLA, also housed a real-life parapsychology lab run by a former actress and screenwriter named Thelma Moss. Thelma Moss began her career as an actress on Broadway and a founding member of New York's Actors Studio. Her transition into screenwriting brought her to Los Angeles, where she penned numerous television scripts and two major motion pictures, including this gem, their classic 1950s Brain in a Jar movie entitled The Colossus of New York. Unfortunately, Thelma's husband, movie producer Paul Moss, died just days after the birth of their daughter in 1954. This plunged Thelma into a deep depression and drove her to attempt suicide twice. Finding other psychiatric treatments lacking, Thelma sought out the opportunity to undergo 23 sessions of LSD-assisted therapy, which changed her life. She was so moved. She wrote a book to share the deeply personal experience of her recovery, entitled Myself and I, under the pen name Constance Newland. Published in 1962, Thelma's recovery was a rebirth, which led her to explore fresh territory. She abandoned her career in what she called slick fiction and went back to school, where she eventually earned a PhD in psychology. Her mission was to explore the fringe for hidden technologies, which, like LSD-assisted therapy, could become healing innovations. In her 1997 obituary, the London newspaper The Guardian dubbed her the Apostle of LSD, stating, Huxley and Leary's praise of LSD tales beside a contemporary, best-selling account by a middle-aged woman, Delma Moss, today as psychedelic treatments are again gaining favor in medicine with the trailblazing work at the Imperial College London and Johns Hopkins in the U.S. Thelma Moss's book Myself and I deserves another look. Despite the fact that by the time she achieved her Ph.D., using LSD even in medical treatment was quickly becoming criminalized, Thelma Moss still found a way to study the fringe. She obtained a position at UCLA teaching medical psychology in 1966 and established an internationally famous laboratory dedicated to the scientific study of the paranormal. Although Thelma is best known today for her controversial research into the Russian phenomenon of Kirlian photography over the course of her career, Thelma conducted experiments on a variety of paranormal topics. Some believe electrified photos produced by Kirlian photography are proof of the soul. Others say what is revealed is only ionized air and changes in moisture. Thelma's lab attracted much attention from Hollywood celebrities. This popularity inevitably led to her downfall in 1978, when due to all the resulting publicity, UCLA closed her lab and terminated her position. Thelma continued her work privately, but her health declined suddenly in the late 1980s. She passed away in 1997, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking work. Thelma's ideas are still alive and well in her books The Probability of the Impossible, published in 1974, and The Body Electric, published in 1979, both of which you can read for free right now on archive.org. Today, Curlian photography has been judged insignificant by the scientific establishment. However, for Thelma, her efforts to study the phenomenon during the Cold War, including many visits to the USSR to confer with Russian scientists, earned her the Douglas Dean Award from the United Nations in 1976. Thelma's techniques for strengthening a subject's telepathic abilities with sensory deprivation, emotionally charged material, and drug induction are still used by parapsychologists today. Thelma's pioneering work in parapsychology has inspired a new generation of researchers including New York Times best-selling author Dr. Judith Orloff, as well as parapsychologist Carrie Gaynor and Barry Taff. Thelma Moss's contributions to the field of paranormal research are undeniable. For more on Thelma Moss, watch my other videos which feature anecdotes about the times Hollywood celebrities visited her UCLA lab, as well as the story of an inventive method Thelma used to investigate a haunted house. Thanks for watching. Please support this channel by liking this video and clicking the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos go live.